Well, Hawaii is always at risk of a damaging or even a deadly tsunami. The sooner destructive waves can be de uh, detected, rather, the more warning people would have to get to safety. KITV4's Paul Drews reports on the latest technology now being worked on. Tsunami's destructive power can be easily seen once these powerful waves reach shore, like this tsunami generated by the 9.0 magnitude earthquake off Japan in 2011. When a large earthquake happens, seismic sensors can measure the magnitude and pinpoint the location, but not all powerful earthquakes generate tsunami. We won't know for sure a tsunami is generated and what is the nature of that tsunami until we get information from either coastal sea level stations or, or bottom pressure sensors. There is a network of about 60 deep ocean buoys in the ocean. Most are near coastlines and may not pick up a tsunami until it gets close. Our uh, initial assessment of the earthquake gives us a pretty good idea whether in fact a, a tsunami was, ha, has been generated. What we really want to understand after that is, okay, how big is it? Well, is it going to be destructive as it, as it propagates across the ocean? While there are a limited amount of buoys that can sense a tsunami, there is work to tap into the undersea cables crisscrossing the oceans, putting sensors every 70 kilometers along them. The first three sensors we're working on and expect to be in systems are ocean bottom temperature, pressure, and seismic acceleration. So seismic acceleration obviously detects earthquakes. And then pressure sensor measures the tsunami wave, but it measures many other things. This smart system would not only give more warning if a destructive tsunami was generated, but would give scientists more data on these elusive forces of nature. And you can see the wave in its entirety propagating, and that lets you predict the details much more accurately of what will happen when the tsunami strikes, strikes land. Bruce is one of the researchers working on a project which is expected to install smart cables first off Portugal by the year 2026. When it comes to tsunami detection, putting more sensors deep the bottom of the ocean may not be the only way to spot them. Instead, scientists may start looking up. That's because these destructive waves also disrupt the atmosphere. When you affect the ionosphere, you also affect the speed at which uh, transmissions between GPS receivers and satellites communicate. We can use that kind of information to tell us about the, the nature of the wave that's propagating through the ionosphere and atmosphere. And that could also tell us, you know, what's going on on the ocean surface. That could give coastal communities more time to get out safely before disaster strikes. It will help save lives. I mean, the, the more accurate we can make a forecast, the better off. We can identify which coastlines will in fact have a hazardous impact.